With an optimal rating of about 0.02%, Nigerian tertiary institutions are poorly ranked in the area of research. Not satisfied with these developments, especially considering the role of research to the technological advancement of any nation, the Executive Secretary of the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, Professor Suleiman Bogoro, in May 2019, inaugurated an ad hoc committee on research and development with mandate to deepen research culture in universities across the country. Seven months into the committee's time frame, its interim report is ready. Presented the report to the Ted Fund boss, co-chairman of the committee, Professor Placid Njoku, made case for establishment of a research foundation in Nigeria. There was a need for a national research foundation, which must be a hub for that must articulate all the research efforts of Nigeria, including uh, funding, um, defining areas of interest. Mm. Uh, what do we do when you have those results that have relevance to the nation? For us to create these jobs, the economy must expand at a rate that is faster than the rate of population growth. And for that to happen, it requires innovation, new ways of doing things, new products in the market, new things that can be turned into commercial products and services. That's where employment will come from. Elated Professor Bogoro, while thanking the committee for their commitment to the service, said the report is coming at a time Nigeria needs knowledge-driven research for development. The essence of centralizing knowledge to drive economy in the 20, Nigeria economy in the 21st century. The modern economy is knowledge economy. They don't just say, call it knowledge driven. They just say knowledge economy. It speaks for itself. We cannot be doing otherwise. It is a new stage in our advancement to make our contributions. That third one, we, we have celebrated buildings. Um, we want to celebrate the content of those buildings. He disclosed plans by the funds to host a national summit on research and development in the second quarter of 2020. CNN News.